Put it on the ground. Very small thing. Yeah. Where I'll put it on a greeny ground, a neutral ground. Mm. It's made the, it's brought the real green out in the Prussian blue, yeah? Mm. It's very greeny. Greeny white anyway. What I don't understand is, what does that medium do? It allows the pigment to become extremely fluid, mm. yeah? And it supports the pigment in a very thin membrane of, of paint and medium, yeah? Right, so why this is wet, this is another technique that a lot of people have used in the past. While you put a ground down, you can cover a whole surface, you can put the ground down. And why the ground is still wet, get your brush, you take a little bit of white, uh, quality turfs. on the brush, yeah. You cut into the ground, yeah. yeah. So fixed, right? So oh. you could you could draw your outline of your figure this is one, one in such a way, and then you start mm -hmm. building it up. But what it's doing is it's being very sympathetic to the mark already. You can see. It's because it's still wet and blah blah blah, but you can, you know, and you could keep working on it until you keep lifting yeah. as much paint off as you want. Yeah? So you're building up. So you can imagine like a whole surface like that that's been flattened with the ground, and now you want to draw your outline on. You're drawing your outline that's on the back of the physical, you're cutting into the material yeah. rather than adding. Yeah, and, you know, I think it has it has quite some stunning effects. So for that one over there, would you suggest uh, like the same thing of blue or red or something? Whatever, whatever you can use. So many different mediums. Yeah, you can use a lot of different me uh, uh, pigments to it, color. Yeah, as long as you can glaze it, and you can thin it down. Um, but, if you put, say you made a glaze medium in yellow, and you put that over a bluish area, it would reflect back green. Yeah, yeah. So you, 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 you know, you're, you're sort of subtly bringing out those other hues of the glaze medium, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you can work it, you, can, you know, you've got a little bit of time to sort of operate with it. I love that effect. But it works as building up the ground before you start working on it. Yeah. You know, and then you're in control, you're in control of the intensity that you put down. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't necessarily have to be as wet as that. You can have it flat and you can make sure it doesn't, you know, it stays flat. And you just keep, you know, I could just keep coming back to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each time. You can glaze in different colors as well. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, by the same time. Have you ever tried white? Um, white is a white is an opaque, color, yeah, right? and it won't. It will thin, but what you're doing is you're starting to get a wishy, you know, and it doesn't. When it's like that, it doesn't look so um, appealing. It doesn't do. But try it. Find out for yourself. I will try it. You know, like you can imagine, you can imagine putting like this down like that, and now you get the white spirits while that's still wet, and you start drawing into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's giving you really. Sorry, Paul. This is the white spirit. Uh, turps, but good quality turps, yeah. Good quality. Turps. Yeah, that's what you want. So you just keep. It's German. So cannot use white spirit like. The I wasn't no. I'd go for turf. Yeah, German. Yeah. You're working your highlights out.
before you really are engaging in the surface. Mm -hmm. I love so, it the way it is, you know. Like that's that's complete. That's perfect. Yeah. Let that dry. Until tomorrow night. Yeah. What you could do is you could punch another one on it to really darken it, mm -hmm. or you could start working on it and then let that dry and then punch another one. It's your way of finding out how you want to use it now. Yeah. But you can see what it does. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I would put a bit of yellow in there, so we can take a bit of green, you know, that would be even more. That's the way you go. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, the language is being very, very subtle with, with a, a very renaissance, I call it a, like a smoky feel to it. Yeah? But you're not using browns or very dirty colours, you're using not contemporary colouring. Hmm. But then it might be a good way of spinning it back on itself is by using you know, really old techniques. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, will, will you know throw it around so you're using contemporary colour but old techniques. Uh -huh. I will do that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. If you put a bit of cling film over that plastic tub, yeah. I'll give yeah. you a bit of strength to it, and I'll put it in there. If you put a bit of cling film on that tub, that will be fine for the next few days. Okay, I will. I will, yeah, I will cover it. Yeah. Yeah.